Hi everyone, I just want to offer some tips on wrapping up project one uh, for the final version that's due this week. Um, a lot of the comments that we had during the critiques centered around volume, and so that's the reason why I mentioned uh, setting your volume level somewhere in this middle third is a good idea, uh, just to make sure you're, you, you, you're not overcorrecting or overcompensating for uh, either loudness or softness in your overall sound. If it's in the middle third and you play it back and it sounds too soft, you do need to boost your levels, or if it sounds too loud, you need to bring down your levels. Uh, some of you have been working with this mixer down here to bring up levels, and you may or have found that turning it all the way up is still not loud enough. Or um, the, the other way that you can uh, adjust level on individual clips is by simply double-clicking on it. So we've looked at this um, menu before for naming things, right, uh, and renaming different clips. Uh, but just below there, there is this section on volume and panning. Uh, you actually have the ability to increase the volume on a specific uh, clip here, uh, individually independent uh, than everything else on the track. So if you have uh, two or three uh, clips on a track, you, this might be an, a useful way to, to bring up the level of one and not on others. Um, there is also this normalize button. We haven't really talked about what normalizing does, but effectively it takes, it, it analyzes the sound, it tries to find the loudest point, and it brings everything up so that that loudest point uh, reaches the maximum possible. So uh, you might find that if you click normalize and click apply, you'll see that the gain increases, the loudness increases on the clip up here. And so I'll go ahead and do that for mine. Uh, and that can be another way to increase the level is to use that normalize button. Uh, and again, you get to that by double clicking on the clip uh, right here, the volume and the normalize features, okay? Uh, once you're ready to, uh, you're happy with all the edits and tweaks that you made uh, after the critique, make sure you go back in here and render again, okay? Because that render that you did for the draft is gonna be uh, all, the, all the, the, the status of what you played for us in class during the critique. If you've made updates, you wanna make sure you uh, make changes here and you want to also you know, give this a, a good name uh, final version or final final version okay something that lets me know um, what I need to grade in your overall project you can double check to make sure that it's going to render actually into your project folder um, and I'm only interested in the wave version this this time around uh, but feel free to go ahead and uh, I'll put a secondary version if you want it's not going to hurt things uh, but I'm going to listen to the wave primarily uh, when you've got these set up, you go ahead and hit render again. It'll do its thing and uh, give you a little bit of a readout of what's going on. Uh, when you close that, okay, uh, go ahead and save your project in Reaper and quit out of it. Uh, you'll find that in your project folder now, uh, the folder that's got kind of gathered all your materials, again, the recipe and the ingredients, uh, you should have now have a new version that is the, the uh, with the, the name that you saved, okay? So there's that final version that I just created, okay? Uh, you're going to gather all this information up, and you're going to actually upload this to, together. Uh, to do that on a Mac, uh, you just simply right-click on it or control-click, and you look for this compress feature, okay? Uh, when you click compress, it's going to take all those uh, files and zip them together, creating an archive. This, uh, so you see how it had the same name as my folder, and then it says .zip, okay? This is all the files that are in this folder zipped together into one file as far as your uh, operating system is concerned. Uh, and that'll allow you to upload one file to Canvas rather than uploading all these separate files. If you try to upload all these separate files, it'll actually uh, create some problems uh, for me on downloading. So the zip, that's where the zip process uh, is, is important. So again, uh, control click and look for compress, okay? Once you've got that, you can uh, flip back over to Canvas, uh, where you're ready to upload the assignment. You know, find the, the assignment uh, or uh, option where it says P1 final version, okay? Uh, and then at the bottom, you can see they have either the option to upload, okay? Or you can drag and drop. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my zip file into here. Uh, that should take care of actually uploading it. You'll see a little bit of progress bar. And once it's done, um, feel free to hit uh, submit assignment, and that's how you hand in the final version of your project. Hope that helps uh, wrap things up, and I will look forward to listening to the final versions of these.